In honor of his craft, Chief Ottoman architect and civil engineer Mimar Sinan designed his tomb in the shape of a compass. And then he decorated the walls with six-fold stars like the ones that we see here. The great architect was the mastermind behind over 300 classical Ottoman structures. He was referred to as a Euclides of his time because of his mastery of geometry. One of Sinan's greatest masterpieces is none other than the Suleimanie Mosque. I mean, here you can actually see the geometric synchronization everywhere. It's all around us. Everything from, well, the structural columns to the miniature details in both the, the doors, the, the windows, and even the walls. I'm sure there's probably a lot more inside, so let's take a look. If architecture is music to the eye, Suleimanier's melody is illuminating and all-embracing. The minbar, the platform used by the imam to deliver sermons, is adorned by delicate patterns that run on both sides originating from eight-fold stars in the middle. Some of these large doors and even some of the window coverings in the mosque, if you look closely, you'll see a star pattern that resembles the cosmos. And some astronomers actually believe that this was a, kind of a, a union or maybe a direction or a connection towards the universe and the heavens beyond. And when you look closer, you'll see that the patterns of stars are actually uh, some of them are eightfold and some of them are eighteenfold. It's kind of interesting to find out why it was done this way. Well, apparently there's no special reason. It's just for the sake of design. They are surrounded by petals that extend into infinity. The scale of these compositions are supported by invisible grids that also facilitate the invention of new patterns.